Hello, and welcome to Inawera's Process Runner help series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a GUI scripting automation script utilizing Process Runner. We have an Excel file containing a list of bank keys we need to delete for several vendors. We will use Process Runner's Seek and Find feature, which is found within the GUI scripting technology, to search for these bank keys and delete them from SAP. Let's bring up SAP to demonstrate why we will use GUI scripting technology instead of the transaction technology. Let's type in XK03, hit enter, and now we can display vendor details. Here we have a list of bank keys for a vendor, and here in Excel are three bank keys we want to delete for the vendor. In SAP, we have no way to select which bank key to search for. There is no item number or specific field we can use when creating an automation script with the transaction technology to search for the value. This will be clear as we create our GUI script. Before we start creating our GUI script and process runner, let's make sure we have GUI scripting enabled in our SAP system. Click on the Customize Local Layout button and make sure script recording and playback is not grayed out. If you need assistance enabling SAP GUI scripting, you can use the help ribbon of Process Runner to access a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to enable it. You may also need to have permission from your SAP security team to enable GUI scripting. Now let's open Process Runner Enterprise and on the Start screen, select New GUI Script. Next, let's enter the T code for the automation script we want to create, so let's enter XK02, Change Vendor. One difference that sets GUI scripting technology apart from transaction technology is the option to select which GUI session we would like to use. If we press Refresh Get GUI Session, we have the option to use the session we currently have minimized on our desktop. As a best practice, however, we recommend starting a new GUI session, especially if you are new to using our GUI scripting technology. Let's click on Start and Use New GUI Session, click the Start Recording button, and select an SAP system across our SAP landscape. Next, we will enter our username and password, click OK, and now we are recording our SAP GUI session. Let's bring up our Excel spreadsheet in the background so we can easily input our vendor data into SAP. We will enter the vendor account number, the company code, select Payment Transactions, and hit Enter. Next, let's select a bank key and click on Delete Bank Detail. Click the Save button, and now we are ready to close out of the recording process. Let's click back on Process Runner, and select Stop Recording. When recording a script using transaction technology, Process Runner will normally stop the recording automatically once we hit Save in SAP. However, when recording a script using the GUI scripting technology, we must manually end the recording process. We are currently in the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, which is where we link our script recording to our dataset. Down below, we have an internal instance of Excel with the row of data we created while recording our script. We want to link our external Excel file shown earlier, so let's click on the drop-down, select Use External Excel File, Locate Our File, and open it. Now we need to complete our mapping for the external Excel spreadsheet. We have the vendor from column A and the company code from column B. You will notice we have fields in the mapping that were never assigned a column because we did not input any values in these fields in SAP. Instead, we selected the row to delete. Here on the Set Focus row for the Change Vendor Payment Transactions screen, under the Dynamic Skip dropdown, we need to select Find Value or Suppress Field. We will get a pop-up where we can specify what we would like to find. For instance, in the Find These Values field, we could hard code in values we would like to find. However, for this example, let's use the find value set in this Excel column field so we can use the values within our Excel spreadsheet. Our remaining values are in columns C, D, and E, so we will enter those columns, each being separated by a comma. This will run a search based on bank country key, bank key, and bank account number. Next, we need to tell Process Runner where to find these values for C, D, and E in SAP. So if we bring up SAP and go back to our Change Vendor Payment Transactions screen, we can count the columns our values are in. 
The country key is in column 1, the bank key in column 2, and bank account number in column 3. In the column number in grid field, let's enter 1, 2, 3, again separated by commas, C corresponds to column 1, D corresponds to column 2, and E corresponds to column 3. In the next section of the pop-up, we need to specify how many rows to search for in the grid. So let's leave the default selection of until a first blank value is found and where to find column is set above, which will stop the search when a blank value is encountered. For the search options, we will select always search from first row to indicate where the search will begin each time. We will leave these advanced settings at their defaults. Let's click OK to accept our settings. Since we have multiple items for each of these vendors, we will need to implement a loop. Here at the screen level, let's select Start Loop. The end of the loop is automatically created for us. However, we want the loop to end before saving an SAP, which is represented with the coding BTN11. Right-click on the end loop, select Cut, then paste it above the BTN11 coding. Next, let's select the block value for the start of the loop and keep the default setting of on value ignore blank, which will analyze column A. To explain further what is happening with our loop, it will start once it has encountered a value for the vendor account, ignore any blank value, and when another value is encountered, it will stop the looping process for the first value encountered. This will allow our loop to successfully delete multiple bank keys for each vendor. Before we run our script, Let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet, and we are going to delete the first row of data for our vendor because we already deleted that bank key when we recorded our automation script. Now let's open Process Runner and click on the Home ribbon, where we can set our start and end rows. We are ready to run our script, so let's push the Run button, and we are prompted to save our script. Click Yes, and we can save our script anywhere we'd like on our hard drive or network. We will get this pop-up stating, you must run this file in direct execute mode because find value or suppress field is used in Mapper. Do you want to turn on direct execute mode and run this file? Let's click Yes to accept. Next, we will need to select which GUI session we want to run our script in. So as a best practice, let's select Start and Use New SAP GUI Session. After hitting Select, let's confirm our SAP logon, and the script will begin to execute. Let's bring up our SAP GUI to view our automation script in progress as it deletes the multiple bank keys. This is running in real time and can be stopped at any time if needed. We have our SAP status messaging in Excel showing that our changes have been made. In SAP, let's use XK03 to view data on our first vendor and verify that the bank account numbers have been removed. We have successfully removed the bank numbers ending in 551 and 553. This video was a brief overview of how to create a GUI scripting automation script using Process Runner. If you would like further assistance with Process Runner, more online resources can be accessed from the help ribbon, such as step-by-step -step tutorials and video tutorials. Thank you for watching.